All right, here I'm going to show you how to read a resistor. Um, right here is a resistor on a power supply. And what you want to do is, uh, if it looks kind of burnt looking, you want to read the, its value. Sometimes resistors that are made of carbon, they look all kind of burnt. That's an indicator that they could be bad. Right there. So if you see a gold or silver band, you want to read it. That band should be to the right when you read it. So you want to read it like this. That's the gold band right there. So brown is number one. And then gold, um, black band is zero. All right. And then this is the multiplier. The last band is the multiplier. Don't consider that the last band. That's the tolerance. Gold is 5% tolerance. And then silver, I think, is 10% tolerance. So anyhow, you read it like this. Brown is one. And then that would be a zero. So you know the number is going to be one. And then zero. And then how many zeros after that number? That's the multiplier. So red is two. So brown is one, black is zero, and then red is two more zeros. One, two, one thousand. One kilo ohm. Okay, and ohm is, that's the symbol for ohm. So you wanna read that. If its value is lower than 5% of that, then change it out. Got that? So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna show you how to read the resistor. And I already showed you um, how to read a capacitor. You have to read a capacitor at a circuit, unless you have a cap meter. Um, that has in-circuit cap meter. All right. So when you read it, there's no polarity. There's no negative positive on a resistor. On capacitor, there is, but not a resistor. So you want to read it like that. And it takes about five seconds to um, read par properly. So let me go ahead and do that. And it is, looks like it's 1K, just under 1K ohm. The numbers will start slowing down, that's how you know. If it reads 900, then you have to kind of change that out. See, it is a little bit low. So it's getting a little bit worn and torn in there but uh you might want to change that out just uh it might fail later on but anyhow uh just want to show you guys that's how you read a resistor and uh you can look up the chart in tampa tech blogspot.com and uh there's a chart there and you basically just zoom in using the control key on the keyboard and scroll up on the mouse and you can zoom in and see the colors better all right, so that's how you read it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment and subscribe.